is the vegan anarchist. And in this video, it's gonna piss off a lot of people. It's called Free Speech Kills! Free Speech Kills! You know, free speech or frozen peaches or free speech kills! Man, when when black people when black people get attacked and killed, when gays get killed, when transgender people get killed, not a word. But as soon as a fascist gets punched in the face, free speech is the worst thing ever. It is and the free and we. Fetishize the spook as a society of free speech. It's just a spook. So, it's a spook. Let me, uh, and for the record, I'm not saying I'm calling for the government to go down and stop this fascist. No! I'm advocating for deplatforming because fuck the government. The government want to take away my speech or if I threaten their power. So fuck the government. That's not what I'm here for. So many liberals, lip reactionaries, lip fascists, not just liberals, but a lot of brochures too. Fascists off the hook. When they're, you know. I mean, like, they're like, if you don't believe in free speech for those you agree with, don't agree with, you don't believe it at all. Here's the problem, okay? Here's the problem. Fascists, the, the problem is, is that fascists are not just saying, oh, just raise taxes, oh, lower, just lower taxes. No, they're fucking saying, Let's exterminate an entire race of people! Exterminate! Kick out all the mud people! Gas the kites! That kind of shit is what you're trying to promote. Not fucking... Not fucking... Oh... Let's have capitalism and socialism! No! Get that straight! The, um, the point is, is that and people should when that when someone calls for an explicit murder on an entire group of people on uh, characteristics they cannot change like skin color or ethnicity or ancestry or shit like that. That's not a fucking free speech. That is a uh, that is. That is violence. When fucking Dylan Roof hears stuff about killing fucking black people and he does it, the people who defended those people's rights, not from the government, but from Antifa, who are the ones who enable this bullshit and have blood in their hands. Free speech has been fetishized so much to the point where the right is so to say whatever the fuck they want and that includes violent rhetoric to just, just to annihilate entire ethnic groups places more that they get, has more value than those victims lives and you see that shit people are willing to Value the lot of value the fascist right to spew propaganda so they can have a race war and commit fucking genocide over the potential victims and their actual victims. The point is, yes, we have to have conversations. Yes, we should discuss things, but that doesn't mean. People, that doesn't mean I should be forced or coalition should be forced to have people in there who's, who would endanger 
people's based on characteristics they wouldn't change, can change. No, or they were born with and have no choice to be born with. There's a distinction. And then they got fucking hate for this, but look, free speech is just what the government cannot, it means the government can't stop you from saying this. It doesn't mean, oh, give, it doesn't mean, oh, look, somebody's having, some fascists, Nazis are having a, a demonstration Oh, I'm not to a concert at this pub and let's have a bunch of people shut it down. No! Most people would tell you if you threaten them or their families to their face, or even and some people like black people would say the N word, they would beat the shit out of those out of that person. Yet on the same breath argue that fascist and Spencer and his peaceful ethnic cleansing is bullshit because that's in public fascists and don't say that shit in public and keep it private. That's if I'm part of you right who actually advocate that shit for real in real public. But anyways Fascist I mean the point is Yes, discussion is, should, we should have discussions. Liberals, conservative, anarchist, socialist, communist, heck, even Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, Bill O'Reilly, I mean, I don't think Donald Trump's a fascist, and I mean, I mean, and then he's not caught for explicit genocide. Richard Spencer is just trying to keep that, you know, covert, you know, he doesn't want to, He's coded lavish, but we know what he means. And anarchists have fought and for, free, for freedom from government interference because anarchists have been the ones receiving government crackdown at any t on people like Emma Goldman or various others for disagreeing with the government and doing things like, oh, speaking out against World War I. No, 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 no. We should prioritize this freedom of expression. But when that freedom of expression threatens someone's freedom to life on things they cannot change, not fucking class, because they can, the rich guy can become fucking just don't all this shit and be poor or be a proly. No, I mean things they cannot change. That should be prioritized. Not the idea that you could fucking see whatever you want without consequences. And newsflash, free speech doesn't mean I can't you can see what the fuck you out without consequences. So I mean, like, it all boils down to freedom of association. Some people don't want their colleges to associate with fascists or to an able fascist organization. It is up to those students to, to make sure to deplatform the fascists. Not the government. I'm not authoritarian because authoritarian means you want this state to do something, and I'm not. I say fuck the government, because the government will persecute me for my for lots of my views if, if it becomes convenient for them. Anyway, this is the vegan anarchist, no meat, no milk, no masters. Anarchism calls for liberation. And as soon as that certain values get fetishized to the point they don't become liberated by oppressive, that is when we should check it and make it liberating and oppressive. See ya!